The Amber Heard vs Johnny Depp trial is in full swing, and some insanely embarrassing moments have already taken place. Let's get into the top 10 embarrassing moments from the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial so far. First at number 10, Lawyer Objects Own Question. During the trial, the most memed people have been Amber Heard's lawyers, who seem incompetent most of the time. This point was basically confirmed in court the other day, when one of Heard's lawyers objected to their own question. Attorney Adam Nadelhaft made a huge error while he was asking questions about a fight that left Johnny with a severed finger. While the lawyer was questioning Ben King, Depp's house manager, he said, quote, You didn't know what could cause damage to Mr. Depp's hand when you were there on March 8th, correct? The lawyer asked. King then answered the question by stating a doctor told him that Depp sustained an injury to one of his fingers. Then in an attempt to stop King from continuing his testimony, the lawyer objected, saying quote, uh, objection, hearsay? For a moment everyone was confused until the judge stated quote, wait, you asked the question, next question. Awkward. In at number 9, Depp found poop in their bed. One of the strangest and most baffling things about this case is the fact that someone pooped in Johnny and Amber's bed, and most signs point to Amber. Apparently after he and Heard had a fight, Depp decided to leave for the night and come back in the morning when he assumed she was not going to be there. However, before he made it back, his maid texted him that there was poop found on his side of the bed, with the maid even including a picture. Johnny then texted Amber about this poop, and she tried to blame it on their dog. Depp stated their dogs were way too small to produce something that large. Heard kept denying that she had anything to do with it, but Depp is convinced it either came from her or one of her friends. My money's on one of the friends. And at number 8, Johnny Depp painted with blood. A huge part of this case is the incident where Amber allegedly threw a bottle at Johnny and severed his finger. We also learned that after Johnny's finger was cut, he decided to paint using the bloody finger as the brush and paint. Depp alleged that during a fight in Australia in 2015, Heard threw two bottles at him, one of which exploded. He claimed it resulted in the tip of his middle finger being cut off. Depp also stated that after the finger was cut, he decided to write on the walls with his blood. Then after it dried, he continued to paint using traditional paint that he had dipped his finger in. Considering Depp did not immediately get treatment for his finger, it's a miracle the doctors were able to reattach most of it. In at number 7, crazy video of Depp shown. In one of the videos presented to the court by Amber, you can see Johnny getting very angry while in a fight. In part of the video, Depp yells, quote, Wanna see crazy? I'll give you effing crazy. While fighting, Depp is seen pouring wine into a glass while yelling about getting crazy. After noticing that Amber is recording, he starts tussling with her. Then the video cuts out. When asked if Depp was getting violent in this clip, the lawyer said, quote, And you would agree that you were violent in that clip, correct? Depp then replied, Clearly I was having a bad time, adding, quote, I did a a couple of cabinets, but I did not touch Miss Heard. Depp was then asked if he was intoxicated in the clip. He did not confirm, then later said it was possible. The lawyer then pressed that he most likely was, since he was pouring a glass of wine in the clip. And at number 6, Depp trashed hotel rooms. Another shocking revelation from the court documents was that Depp had gotten so angry in the past that he had trashed hotel rooms. Heard's lawyers asked Depp, quote, You've trashed hotel rooms before simply because you've had a bad couple days and an unpleasant time. Depp then replied, quote, Correct, I have a the couch or two. Yes, sir. Depp also agreed that he had expressed himself through destructive measures in the past. Heard's lawyers also pressed him about an earlier quote, where he claimed that when men are angry, some will play golf while others will smash hotel rooms, with him clearly being the type that does the latter. Depp replied that he was only joking at this time, and he doesn't believe he's the only person that's broken something while they were frustrated. Halfway number 5, met up after restraining order. After Amber Heard filed for divorce from Johnny Depp, she decided to also get a restraining order to protect herself from him, alleging that he was violent with her in the past. Depp testified in court that in 2016, after her filed for the restraining order, she asked to meet up with Depp and talk about things. Although he was confused, he wanted to hear what she had to say, with Depp saying, quote, I was talked into going there and met with her in hopes that she would retract her lies that the world was now fed. In no way was she ready to do that, and I couldn't understand why I was there. Everything had been taken from me. Depp continued that he felt that she was leading him on and asked him there under false pretenses. In at number 4, Paul Bettany texts. One of the times that Johnny looked the worst was when his texts between him and Paul Bettany were read to the court. These texts showed Depp letting off steam after a fight with Heard, but saying some pretty horrific things. Heard's lawyer showed texts between WandaVision actor Bettany, including one in which the two joked about ending Heard's life. During his deposition, Depp confirmed that he and Bettany are good friends. Texts from 2013 show the actors joking about how they would kill Heard claiming that the pair would burn her, then including some nasty comments about making sure she was dead by uh, sleeping with her corpse. 
Bettany's reps have not responded to the texts, but he has previously expressed that it was embarrassing to have his texts made public when they were used in the UK libel case Depp brought against The Sun, which he lost. Bettany clarified that he quote, didn't know Johnny when he was married to Heard. And at number 3, Heard copying Depp's outfits. One strange thing that's been noticed during the trial is that Amber seems to copy Johnny's outfits in court. Dr. Shannon Curry took the witness stand and testified that she diagnosed Amber Heard with two personality disorders, one that could cause her to mimic her ex-husband Johnny Depp's wardrobe choices. Dr. Curry claimed that Amber's disorder may cause her to quote, take on the identity of the people they are spending time with because it's comforting. This testimony came at an interesting time because fans have been pointing out that Heard seems to copy whatever Depp wears in court. If Johnny wears a grey suit on Tuesday, Amber will show up with a similar grey suit the next day, a clear pattern that has been shown through the trial. Some fans on Twitter wrote, quote, Amber Heard is playing mind games with Johnny Depp by copying his outfits in court. Another said, quote, when Johnny wore a grey suit, the next day she wore the same thing. Then he wore a Gucci ensemble and the next day she wore it. In at number 2, Milani Cosmetics contradicts Amber. During her trial, Amber's lawyer stated that Amber would walk around with makeup constantly in case she ever needed to cover a bruise that Johnny had given her. In court, the lawyer held up Milani Cosmetics all in one correcting kit while telling the jury how Heard concealed bruises on her face. Although it's important, the lawyer never claimed that Heard used that specific product. During her trial, her lawyer held up the makeup and said, quote, This is what Amber carried in her purse for the entire relationship with Johnny Depp. She's an actor. Do you honestly think she would have left her apartment ever without makeup? Do you think she would ever have wanted other people to see her bruises and cuts? This is what she used. She became very adept to it. Milani clapped back in a TikTok video, showing that the product held up in court was not released until 2017, one year after Heard filed for divorce. So there is no way Heard could have been covering bruises with that makeup. A source close to Heard told People, quote, Heard's lawyer was using an example of the kind of makeup that she used. And finally, at number one, Lily Rose skipped Depp's wedding. During the trial, it was exposed that Depp's daughter, Lily Rose, did not approve of his relationship with Amber. It was so tense that Lily Rose decided not to attend their wedding in February of 2015. In court, Johnny said, quote, My daughter, Lily Rose, did not come to the wedding. She and Miss Heard were not on particularly great terms for several reasons. Johnny Depp also claimed in court that Amber tried to drive a wedge between him and his kids. Johnny has two kids that he shares with ex partner Vanessa Parody, Lily Rose, and Jack. When talking about how possessive Amber was, Depp said, quote, Amber had to have me there at all times for her own needs. Also alleging that she would, quote, tell me what a bad father I was and that I had no idea how to parent. After the allegations came out, Lily Rose publicly defended her father. So that's all for the list, but before I go, I'm going to shout out some comments from celebrities who tried to warn us about The Smith Family Part 2. Chucky said, Will Smith ruined the Oscars. It was the 50th anniversary of The Godfather, but Mr. Entitled made sure it was all about him. He spoiled everybody's night. Total jerk. I completely agree. I think he knew it was like his night to shine, like he was nom the favorite to win in one of the highest categories, and he was like, yeah, I can do whatever I want and get away with it. And thankfully, he didn't fully get away with it. I mean, he did still win, but yeah, I didn't realize it was the 50th anniversary of The Godfather, though. I mean, that's something that should have been talked about more. And Texas Creek Cowboy said, wait, a man forces himself a kiss from you and you think Will was out of line for not wanting it? So I, I see what you're saying, but I think it just shows that Will is always like going towards violence. Like there's other ways he could have handled that situation other than slapping the guy on a red carpet where there's like a million people. He could have just like, you know, lightly pushed him off, gotten one of his securities to do something, said something. Like there's other things you can do other than giving him like a backhanded slap. All right guys, that's all for the list today. I've been your host Mackenzie Smith and we'll catch you on the next one.